Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to Yarn and Pajamas. Today I have a, a small mail haul for you guys and um, like um, most of them are cards but I had like one little surprise gift and I'm also going to throw this in here too because I got it on the same day but it's my friend had a 31 party and I ordered some stuff from her and it came in so I'm just going to show you guys that too if you want to see it. If not, I completely understand if you leave before seeing it. But the first thing I want to show you I got today, today is Wednesday the 27th and um, the rest of this stuff I got on Monday. So the f to what I got today is a postcard and it's from um, Neva at Manic Mama Musings. And it's this cute little Roswell, New Mexico one. Look at the alien family, they're on vacation. The little alien baby's got a little hat on. It's so cute. I love it. Thank you very much, Neva. I really do love it and appreciate it. And I'm going to put this on my um, refrigerator downstairs. So the next one is a card from um, Rebecca Bishop says thinking of you at Halloween and look at that black cat in a field of yellow flowers and pumpkins her um, handle on here is uh, crochet me this aka Rebecca Bishop I believe it says you're a special reason you are a special reason this is such a happy season. Happy fall, happy Halloween. Thank you, Rebecca. I really do love this card. I love that little black cat. I love how the pumpkins are like faded into the background almost it, and the yellow flowers are what's like prevalent. I really like that. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm gonna find a place to um, display these cards. So the next one is from um, Ella at No Catchy Name, and it is this cat and this bat, and it says, just dropping in to wish you a spooktacular Halloween. Look how cute. I love like when colors, like the orange fades into the um, purple and it's sparkly. And then um, there was some uh, cute little Halloween stickers on the envelope. Everybody loves stickers. And then the last card I got is from Angelia at um, Crocheting House Mouse. And this card is just the cutest thing ever. Look at it. It says Happy Halloween. Look at the little, little mousers. Look at that. It says, couldn't let Halloween come and go without a warm wish and a friendly hello because you're a person who's nice to know. Have a fun night. Oh, and she stuck some little stickers in there. That's so cute. I love those little mice. And she's, you know, the crush eyeing house mouse. Oh, so cute. Thank you very much, Angelia. I really like this card as well. It's so pretty. Okay, so the next thing I have here is from my friend Dinah. So she sent me, oh my goodness, Dinah, a little package. And inside the little package was a note, a very sweet note. So I've got that here. Let me take one of these out because I'm going to need it. And she sent me, her husband makes um, spices. So she sent me two of his spices. And the first one is called Nana's Italian Seasoning. And it's the Hog Zone. Nana's Italian Seasoning. And FYI, um, Italian seasoning is one of my um, favorites to use in cooking. I really like it a whole lot, so I like that. So here's this one, and then the next one says the Hog Zone Killing Crew Steak Seasoning. 
I'm really excited about this too because I use steak seasoning on a lot of things. Like, not just steak either. I put it on chicken as well and um, like I put it in my pot roast when I'm cooking my pot roast. You see the, the sun is glaring in. Sorry about that. It's time of day, I guess. So, and I'm going to put all of this information um, down below. But it's the hog zone. That's how we kill them. <laughs> That's funny. So, I, I'm assuming, well, I'm not sure about the phone number. So, I'm going to cover that up. But she included one of his business cards. So, I'll um, cover up the phone number. But I'll show you that. And I will put all of these links down below. And I guess he has like some intense spices too. Like some spicier spices. So, you guys might want to go and check them out. Like if you're into seasonings and spices and stuff. I'm going to because one of the gentlemen I work with... He likes things um, spicy. He likes um, things that are hot and stuff. So I'm going to go on there and look and see what they have and maybe find a Christmas gift or two. And then here is my most favorite thing that she included. A little ghost. <laughs> look how cute he is. He is just adorable. And she left his little tail in case I wanted to sew him on to something. How sweet and thoughtful was that? Really like that. Really like that. So I'm going to, because if you notice, oops, where's my little ghosty is gone. I sent it off. It has made it to where it was going. So I'm gonna put him Right back here so that he can live with the gnomes for the rest of the Halloween season. So thank you very much, Dana. I really appreciated this. It was completely unnecessary. You did not have to do that, but I truly appreciate it. And I'm going to put these spices to good use. I'm going to put them to good use. So now let's move on to the 31 part of everything. Let me move on my cards. I don't want to bend them up because I'm going to put them on my bookshelf over there. So, 31. My friend had a 31 party. It must be party season because everybody's having either, there's like a little, where's it at? Right there. Like something from the, it's glaring off of one of these things. I'm sorry about that. Everybody must be having um, parties because I've been to so many um, 31 Pamper Chef the Color Straight so many parties Ooh, about partied out <laughs> okay so let's see what all goodies I got here is a clear clip pouch now I do have one of these in a different um pattern. Sorry, it's going to crinkle because, you know, they wrap everything in. Oh, that kind of feels neat. So, this is the holiday print. Look at that. That's so pretty. So, what it is, is it's it's got one of these little carabiners. And then this part unzips and you got like a little, looks to be like maybe it's thermal. Is that what it is? doesn't say it's thermal. Well, it looks thermal. And then on the back side here, you got like a clear pouch. So you can put some stuff in that right there. And it's got its own zipper. I use mine for, I put my medicine for when I go to work. Um, down in mine and my um, essential oils. I'm a essential oil user, so... I put my little roll-ons down in there that I use. Oh, yeah. So, there's that. Got that. This one was cute. And I have one of these bags. I think it's a llama. 
in a llama print, maybe. I don't have to put this one back down in the thing because I'm gonna use it. It's a work bag. Well, it's not really Christmas yet, is it? So here is this one. Let's see how oops. It's a canvas feeling. Let's see what it's called. I put this all the way over here and didn't even tell you guys. Essential storage tote. Now they do have these in small, which I will show you because I got a small one. But it's pretty roomy. Like I know like the llama one, I use it to keep, um, like when I'm working with that big Burnett blanket yarn, I put that down in there and like fits down. But here is the, it's like a vintage-y, like traditional old time and Christmas look to it. Okay. So the next thing I got, I think this is a small, small essential storage tote. And here is it. I have a small one. It's got a sloth, sloths on it. This one is the charcoal crosshatch. And, um, my friend Danette uses this one in her car as a trash bag. Like as a trash, like she puts her bottles and like, you know, when you have to blow your nose and stuff. And then she just dumps it out. So I was like, I don't want me one because it's always, always good to try to keep your car a little bit clean. So I thought that would be good, especially using on long trips. And then this one is an around the clock thermal. So many moons ago, I had one of these in, I'm gonna say like 10 years ago. And I believe they redesigned it and it wasn't as big as what I wanted. So I got another one to try it out to see if it was something that I could pack for my lunch. So it's like essentially a lunch box. So here it is. I thought it was kind of pretty. So I think I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna have to make sure we're only allowed to bring one bag in at work. So I have to make sure whatever I take fits in my bag. But I think this is like maybe just a little bit smaller than the one I had before, but it's essentially about the same. So, yeah, those are the bags that I got from 31. Yes, and I believe that some of them were on sale. I think maybe this one was on sale. And that's why I went ahead and got it. This one. So that is all of my mail and all of my 31. Yeah, so okay. Well, um, I will see you guys um, next week. Um, next week is my podcast and um, hashtag maybe in stitch. So I will see you guys and we will talk about what I've been working on next week and we will talk about what movie am I supposed to be watching? The W, we'll talk about my W movie. Bye, guys.